Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the brand new mobile game, Teppin. Let's get started. So Teppin is a mobile game. It dropped July 4th for Android, and I think it dropped on the same date for iOS. And the game features Capcom characters. So it features characters like Dante, X, Wesker, Ryu, Chun Li's in there as well. In a nutshell, you go head to head against an opponent. They have 30 health points. You try to get it down to zero using your cards to attack their cards and ultimately their character. And the cards that you can use vary greatly. You can use cards that deal damage straight to the opponent. You can use cards that beef up your cards for the attack or strengthen your cards for defense. Certain cards also have unique abilities, which really helps change up different play styles. Now on the Google Play Store, it says this game is 77 megabytes. However, it's closer to 770 megabytes. They might've just forgot the zero. The Apple Store, I think, shows an accurate description. Yes, it does with 723.5. And then once you have that downloaded, there's a small patch to download on your phone as well. Now, like most free mobile games, there are in-app purchases. So you can see they range from $1.39 to $109.99 per item. Now, fortunately, I don't know if the developers would like me saying this, but it's not pay to win. So you don't have to pay in order to win at this game. I haven't spent a dime yet and I've been winning just fine. There is a season's pass. I think the season lasts from July to September and then another season after that. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this game evolves on that level. One good thing is the welcome bonus is massive. So they give you quite a bit just for downloading and trying out the game, which I really like. Uh, and you can get some great items just through that. Now, time will tell if you will need to spend money in order to win at this game, but fortunately right now, I can confidently say it's not pay to win. All right, so you can see I have Teppin up and running on my phone. I'm just mirroring my device, so what I'm seeing Basically, you can see. And you can see I've just got a welcome bonus. So every day you sign in, you get a little bonus. Uh, this is core pack ticket times one. So I've just got a pack of cards. And then it looks like my next... Oh, I just got some more claim rewards. Okay, so core pack ticket times three. Like I was saying before, uh, it's very, very generous in the rewards that it gives you. And you can see my rank right there. It says B4. So just right above me, uh, it says B4. That's my current rank. Rank goes from F, I think, all the way down. Is it F? Yeah, I think it's F. And then you work all the way down to A. Uh, I'm not quite sure what's after A, but there's five levels per rank. So E5, E4, E3, E2, E1, then you move into D. Now, one of the things that I've noticed on here too is each rank that you get, so from, for example, E to D, uh, you have to win more matches to rank up. So it's harder to rank up the higher you get. Each decks have different flavors, so each character has their own kind of unique style that you can play with. So if I head over into my cards and then go into edit deck, uh, you can create your own deck. You can look at the cards that you have and assign them. So it's quite a bit of fun. There's cards that do different things. Now, if I bring up this card, for example, it says true faith gives plus two attack to a friendly unit and you can see a number two there i'm not going to really go through the full game mechanics because that's going to take quite a while to explain and i'm just doing a quick review uh, but each card does different things and costs different points to play so it's not necessarily an easy game to master there are it's a very easy game to get into but i would say very difficult to master now in terms of match length the longest match that i've had has been i think four minutes i don't think i've had a match longer than that and i've played about 125 of them most of them are maybe the three to two minute mark for me so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to start a battle here and see what happens so i may edit out just for timing perspective so if it is a little choppy i apologize but if i lose i'm just going to keep it in here so i've already found a match i just hit battle i'm going to be fighting a wesker so it's a c1 so it's a lower rank but that doesn't really mean a lot i actually struggle against wesker players so i'm going to try to get out of the gates here and start attacking right away so you can see me just drop a card uh, we're fighting each other and you can see the timer on the top it says four minutes and 38 seconds and that's the duration of the match now each one of my cards does something different and ultimately at the end of the day my goal is to get his he's at 28 now just above my head i want to get that to zero so the first person to get that number to zero will win 
So he's just using a special ability uh, to completely obliterate my card. And I have one too in the bottom left. I'm just holding on to it for a minute. So I'll use my special ability there to knock out his card. And you can see right away the animations, the artwork is really, really great in this game. So I've got him down to nine points. I'm still at 28. Uh, this still might not go well for me. So I'm using a card right now to boost my attack. When I do that, he gets an opportunity to use a card as well. So right now I'm using a card that directly hurts him. He's at five hit points left. This will bring him down to three. On top of that, I just stacked that. So I had another three damage card. Hopefully this kills. So you can see he's down to two hit points and now down to zero. So I just won this match. I have 14 to zero. I had 14 health remaining. And that's pretty much the gist of it. So it took maybe a little over two minutes and there we go. And you can see here too in the daily missions, win three battles, play five unit cards, play 20 black elemental cards. So there's daily missions which also help you get rewards. So I will show you how the card system works. So I do have five decks of cards. Uh, so I'm gonna open all five and you can see you just tap on each one and you get a different card. And you can see here's a summary of my cards. So I got one legendary, three epics, uh, a bunch of rares, and then just some common cards. So overall, I really like this game. I don't generally like card games because they're slow. Uh, if you draw a really bad hand, you're, you're pretty much done from the get-go. So this is a lot different. It's very fast-paced. Things change up very quick. And you can tweak your deck so that you're not going to get stuck with bad cards right out of the gate. Now, I also really, really like... The fact that they didn't really lock stuff behind paywalls. There's no timeouts on this game and, you know, send invites to 50 friends in order to keep playing. It's all free. It's all wide open. And I quite like that. Anyways, let me know what you think about this game in the comments below. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Thank you, everyone. Take care.